I like the human flaw of not having any kind of, not using a ruler, not using a straight edge, not using a grid, just kind of spontaneously reacting to what's in front of you. In 2007, Canadian-born basketball superstar Steve Nash commissioned artist Julian Schnabel to paint his twin daughters, Bella and Lola, who are now lively five-year-olds and budding artists themselves. We invited both Nash and Schnabel, with a little help from the twins, to tell us about the day this portrait was painted. I didn't know what to expect, you know, having it be the first time that, uh, you know, I'd ever seen someone paint a portrait. I've, I've never had it done of myself at that point, and, and, you know, especially when you're talking about two very young little girls, you don't know what to expect. I didn't even know if they would last long enough for him to be able to paint them. I'm actually friends with his son, uh, Vito, so um, it's strange how it comes about, but, uh, you know, I play basketball with Vito sometimes in the summer, and, uh, you know, we got to talk, and I thought it would be a phenomenal experience for, for the girls and for our family to have uh, Julian paint, uh, paint the girls. They came out to Montauk with their dad, and I painted them outside. And Julian has a beautiful studio at the back of his property on a bluff, you know, overlooking uh, the Atlantic. So I took the table and I stuck it outside in the studio and they stood together. And one of them had a little teddy bear, so I painted it into her, her little outfit there. It was great. I mean, Julian was really laid back, obviously in his element, you know, especially at home. You know, he was excited to paint them. It was a challenge for him a little bit because the girls were so young, it was really hard for them to sit still. But, uh, you know, he was able to make it work and it wasn't a painful experience for the girls or for Julian when it really could have been because they were so young. You know, he handled it extremely well and, and the girls, you know, did the best they could, you know, not really understanding what was happening. So uh, I think it was fun for them once they could see the painting materialize in front of them. You got to focus and you got to also keep them focused. One of them was crying and kind of upset. The other one was very easy. Like twins, they're always opposites. But you know what? Steve was great. He was, he's a wonderful father. He was very um, uh, resilient. And, uh, and I realize also that, you know, if you commit to doing something like that, you have to, the artist has to be resilient also and go with what's happening. And then I kind of painted them as if they were one person. But you can see that their little legs are next to each other. And, uh, I think when people are moving around, it forces you to paint quickly. And I think that's probably not a bad thing. It gives uh, some life to the painting. What's it going to be like to see this painting in a museum? You know how big it's going to be? Yeah. It's going to be as big as that wall. You guys are going to be big. <laughs> uh, I put them together on that table. And uh, the way I paint these paintings is I paint them brown first. I paint the kids on the brown surface, and then I took, it's all oil paint, and then I took the oil paint and I put it on there with my hands, and it's finger painting, and I just went like that and covered the rest of the painting, painting that sky, and that's a very nice, unimportant table, and it reminded me of something that Man Ray would have had in his studio or something like that, and the resin they're kind of old-fashioned paintings in a way, but the resin's a very modern material. It's liquid glass, so I like to uh, um, pour it on while the paint's still wet, so there's this element of surprise in it also. One thing that I didn't expect was uh, to be in his studio. You know, he was gracious enough to bring us out to his, his studio in Montauk, and for him to be in his element amongst a lot of his other work was you know, a special experience for us, so we got a chance to really get a feeling for who he is as a person and as an artist and his environment and his process. 
I don't like to paint from photographs. I don't. I don't make paintings of people from photographs. There's something about them standing in front of you and them being alive that informs the painting. I think that that's what the viewer gets when they walk up to the paintings. There's, the paintings are alive in some way, and that, that's the thing. You know, I don't think they remember it too well, but I th I'm excited to think about what it'll mean to them throughout their lives as they grow and change and evolve as people, but also have a chance to look back at, at this wonderful memento from uh, the beginning of their lives. I think, I hope that what I start to communicate is better by the time I'm done than what I thought it might be before I started. Julian's an iconic artist and to know his work and the passion he has for his art is an exciting thing and you know it's something that I think is wonderful for my family uh, forever. So. Uh, it, it was exciting, I think, to, to go through the process, but the outcome is something that we'll, we'll cherish for a long time.